What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our stage two of this Gilded Allegiance, Ravnica Allegiance sealed event. I gave my eyes some drops, too, so in case you guys are worried, in case you guys were mother henning me, being like, hey, make sure your eyes are hydrated. Make sure you use your drops. You don't want your eyes to dry out. I used them. And now we're going to add another booster pack. I hit it. I don't want to hit it again. Okay, we did it. Why don't you show me what's new instead of just... Is there like another window that came up that I missed? That will show me... Oh, here we go. Cool. <clears throat> Smothering Tithe. Four mana for an enchantment. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player might pay two. If that player doesn't, you create a treasure. Okay, so every turn you get a treasure for free. Eh. Eh. It deals one damage to a creature playing one damage to their, them. Mm. Deals three damage to an opponent... And that player discards two cards. The Carnage part's not bad. Hydrated. Nice. I'm a fan. Bring to trial. Exile creature power 4 greater. <laughs> well, it doesn't sound like you're bringing him to the trial. It sounds like you're just condemning him flat out, aren't you? I feel like if it was a trial, like he would come back, right? Like he could be found not guilty and then you could just get the creature back, right? Not today. Whenever another creature control dies, we saw that guy. Target creature gets negative 4, negative 0 until end of turn. Draw a card. If you cast this spell during your main phase, tap that creature. It doesn't untap. We have one of those, I believe. And it's funny because I thought the addendum was just flavor text. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have that. What is this? 3 2 for 3? Was it Merfolk Warrior? What did we have that I was looking at? I think it was actually one of these guys, and I just saw a bunch of flavor text, so I just assumed that it was one of those. Um. I don't know if any of these cards were good enough to add. I mean, the only thing I'm adding is Zorius Guildgate, I think, over one of the islands for sure. How do you plead? Not guilty? Nope, guilty. See you later. Yeah, it's like, well, it feels like you've already condemned them, right? I'm not a big fan of Smothering Tide. Like, just, just because it costs four mana. Like, so what, on turn five, you'll get your first, you'll get your first clue if they don't pay for it? I don't love Carnage. Like, four mana is not really where I want to be to spend on discarding two cards and taking three. It's just Blighting for one extra mana. The first half is kind of useful, but... This guy's a 2-5 with Vigilance that can't be blocked. This is a 3-5 with Reach. I almost think this is... I almost think this is better. I mean, it's obviously harder on the mana. We have two Vindictive Vampires? Interesting. Is it non-token? No, it's just another creature. Four mana, though. It's quite an expense. Who's got the Who's got the time, you know? In this day and age, you may sacrifice another creature if you do put two 1-1 one, one counters on it, then scry two. So it's a 5-5 five, five, and you can just scry two? That's actually not terrible. Got another Rafter Demon. <clears throat> oh we got another, did we get another one of these or did you, no we boarded that in didn't we yeah okay okay What was the other card we're looking at? Is there another card we're looking at? There are two three for, for three with reach. It's like a baby spider. 
Do we get another arrow arrowmunculus? Hmm. All creatures. Oh, this is yeah. We saw that. Uh, drill bits. Mm. Exile target creature for three or less. That's actually not terrible, especially as an instant. I don't know, like, it's hard because I don't know what direction to go with this deck. Like, I feel like we have a lot of options here. I think it's also very good. I do like this guy. I also like the the bring to trial. I feel like these are the opposites, right? Exile a creature with power four or greater. Exile a creature with power three or less. However, usually flavor wise, they're similar. These are not similar. I like the the amplifier and gate colossus combo. It's like, well, it's always going to be an eight eight or a sixteen sixteen. I guess is the case would be. I mean, then just hope they don't have a way to kill a 1-1. One, one. I don't know if I want Skate Wing Spy. Is that good enough? Yeah, we have a bunch of... Actually, we can probably get rid of the Steeple Creep for the... Uh, for the other Aeromunculus. That's likely an upgrade. I feel like one of these would be fine. We can definitely take out a creature. Like, maybe we take out the Skate Wing Spy. Like, six mana to, to, to plus is a lot. We can take out the Wrecking Beast, probably. Yeah, this seems fine. Alright, let's try it like this. I don't think we're going to change anything else. So one of my biggest issues with getting having gotten LASIK is that I have these Ray-Ban Clubmasters, which I really like, but I want to be able to just make them sunglasses. I want to just be able to replace the frames or the lenses with, with, with polarized Ray-Ban lenses, and I don't actually know how to do that. And looking on eBay, like you can find Ray-Ban Clubmasters for like 60 bucks. So it's almost like not even worth, like I can't imagine that two polarized Ray-Ban lenses are going to cost less than 60 bucks when bought individually. So it's almost like I have to just buy a new pair and then just donate these or probably donate because I can't imagine I can sell prescription lenses and, and, uh, well, okay. So a lot of problems with being the guy with fake glasses here. One, these wouldn't be fake glasses. These would be actual glasses with lenses with prescription lenses and B I'm trying to get sunglasses not fake lenses so it's like it, that's not even the goal uh this hand seems good I'll keep it all right we're in we're in stage two yeah, I feel, well, see, like, here's, like, what if I had to get replacement lenses? Like, what if I was like, oh, hey, Ray-Ban, one of my lenses broke. Can you send me an extra lens? And I wonder if they do that. I just hate the idea of getting rid of an entire set of glasses because I, I would rather have sunglasses in them instead, you know? No, these are my old prescription lenses. Give me a land so I can actually go... Ooh, we did it. So, three drops not really worth it here. It's definitely going to go Guildgate into Grow Spiral EOT. Whenever another creature enters battlefield, gain a life. Sure. So, it's just a Soul Warden. I gotcha. 
I gotcha. land oh that was great oh we only have one white though oh biscuits oh we'll just play this actually one two three yep we're just gonna play colossus here <laughs> let's just play the eight mana guy seems strong if you have a receipt for your frames you might be able to get the uh i bought them in seattle so probably unlikely that i can i may just go to a well that's interesting but we can just deputy that can i draw white a white mana that's actually pretty good, too. Can't cast that, though. It seems like we do need more white mana in the deck now. Now that we have... Yeah, we're just going to free our 8-8 because... Come on, let's be real. Are you going to force a will? Would you like to use this ability? I think so. Yeah, we're likely going to take a forest out for a... Probably a white source, probably just the plains. Turns out we added a lot of white cards to the deck. I don't even know if I want to block here. I think we're just taking three. Like, if you're going to attack with your 2-2, two -two, like, this is probably worth more than blocking here. We did. We did put the Azorius Guild Gate. We took out an island for an Azorius Guild Gate, so it actually added a white source in that sense. Well, that's pretty good. That's also not terrible. Could just play this guy, though. Might just be this guy. Like, we're still going to take one, but I'd rather just have a 5-5 five, five than a 3-5 on the board, so... If we hit a land, we can play both of these guys. If we don't hit a land, we can still play this guy and pump this guy to a 7-7, seven, seven, which is pretty big. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> this guy's apparently uh, taking the day off. Fascinating. Well, I'm not going to pump. Now having this down is nice, because if we draw a black or a white, we can just play this, still make a 1-1. One, one. I feel like that's good for us. No attacks. Well, that's good for us. Oh, that's nice. So we just attack with this, <laughs> and then if they block, we pump. Eh. I think we'd rather just have five. Eh, but they're probably not going to block, right? I'd still rather have a guy down to block the 3-3. Three, three. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit another land, we can play this and pump this guy. That seems good. Uh, who works great with Afterlife? Because this is whenever you cast the spell, not whenever a creature comes into play. Whoa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's take five. Seems fine. During your turn, spells your opponent's cast cost one more and activate. Yeah, so during your turn, sure. Deals five to this guy. Yeah, that's rough. They have no cards, though, so I think we're okay. Oh, well, I see. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play this guy and still keep this up. Does it give trample too? Ooh, it does give trample. How nice. Hmm. Well, you have no cards in hand, so... YOLO. Uh, sealed. Sealed is, sealed is the only thing available right now. Draft is unavailable currently. Okay. So we're just going to go blue, green. And they're pretty much dead on board, right? Like, if they play two creatures, they survive. But then we... No, they... I mean, they're just pretty much dead. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So how many green sources do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many white sources? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're definitely cutting a forest for a second plains. Like we just add a lot of green or a lot of white. We added one, two, three, four, five, six white cards. Yeah, definitely a lot of other planes here. What is wilderness reclamation? I don't even know what that is. Don't you still have no enchantment removal? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, we have deputy. Deputy of detention is enchantment removal. I mean, on our main deck, probably not. I thought we had something in the sideboard. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. I guess we don't. Yeah, we have none. It's whatever. Oh, no, we have Sundering. We have Sundering Shaman. That gets rid of an enchantment. We can give it Trample. I will keep this hand.
This deck is awesome. Like, even if we don't win, like, I'm still pretty excited about this deck. Any land here is great. Let's us play either of these guys. Well, not any land, I guess. A blue or a, a green land lets us play this, but we still have a play, so. Oh, no. Our deck is not as good anymore. What keyboard do you have that makes those lovely mechanics? Uh, it is a DOS keyboard. It is the most recent DOS keyboard. Well, it was, anyway. Let's find out if it's still new. It's like DOS Keyboard 4, I think. DOS Keyboard 4 Professional. Yeah, it's this guy. Doug, have a good afternoon, buddy. Come on, be a land. Oh, it was a land. It was the best land in our deck. Oh, wow. Sure. Okay. Okay. Do we just make a 3 3 here or a 4 4? What's more important? I think 4 4 is probably better, right? Yep, we now have red, red, green, green, which is pretty nuts. A 3-3. Three, three. This is why we make a 4-4, four, four, guys. This is why we make a 4-4. Four, four. Singing songs about here. When you need to replace the lenses, you can make an order send the exotic from Italy and they replace them, but I'm not sure if this also works different lenses as the original ones. And if it works inside of warranty, at least in Europe, it works that way. You don't have to sell a Rayman factory in the US, but it probably does. I, yeah, I've been meaning to call them because I just don't want to waste the, the frames. I really like the frames and I would just be like, hey, I just want to transform these into sunglasses. And having to buy an entire new pair of glasses for that seems really silly. We could also play Vanifair here and then just like sack this guy for like Seraph next turn, which is pretty insane. I think we're in really good shape here. Um, all right, so what do you have? Nothing, I'm just gonna take the three. It's weird. <laughs> Why a creature is so small, little buddy? Well, that turns on get to the point, or get the point rather, not get to the point. Gains vigilance, sure. Well, we're just gonna bash. All right. I'm actually tempted to just kill this guy so they don't have this, but I don't think the 1-4 really makes a difference here. I would much rather get Vanifair online. Like, our board is rare, mythic, super strong, uncommon. I'm okay with it. Yep, still not going for it. Uh, 
when it enters the battlefield, gain two life for each gate you control. Holy smokes. What is that, eight life? That's a yikes for me, dog. Thank you. Jarman, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. 12 months, man. What a time to be alive. We can actually get the point or Scorch Mark. Scorch Mark is nice because it lets us still play Detention. Wow. Yep, well, I can't I can't stop this. So Actually, we could we could kill this and then kill this. That seems good. I'm going to bottom this. I don't think we need another gate, even if it does let us cast final payment here. Real tempted to just get Seraph here, but... I think we're good. That's a good one. That is a good one. I'm tempted to just detention detention sphere this thing. It just makes our combat a lot better. Let's get in there with everything. Sure. Crystal with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need. Welcome back, friendo. Huh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I think we're real far ahead here. If they block here, they take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, they Thank die. You. Megan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And back, I mean, here, I guess. Yeah, if this didn't say exile, I'd be more reluctant because they're still getting a blocker out of it. So now we're probably just going to slam with all. Probably not you because... So if they have the deal three to a tapped creature, like they could have just cast it last turn. I guess not on it. Not, they couldn't have on this, so... This is still 11. It's still fine. We get to play Aeromunculus if something goes wrong. Yeah, we're pretty good. <laughs> oh, yes. Sultai Brood is OP. That's the OP Brood. Um, so we were going to take out one forest for one plains. I think that's where we want to be. Other than that, I'm really like... This deck is... This deck is feeling okay. Hmm. This feels really strong for an uncommon. I thought this was rare when I first saw it. Afterlife is a die trigger, not a graveyard, not a, uh, I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, when this creature dies, create two one one white and black spirit tokens with flying.
My league matchmaking failed. Story of my life. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Is it a die trigger or a graveyard trigger? Die just means when it when it when it goes to the graveyard. So the answer to your question is yes. I should have went to sleep like an hour ago, but of course you had to start this tournament with such a deck. <laughs> Must keep eyes open. Man. Taxican, really sorry, buddy. I mean, this deck looks insane, right? Like, if this is if this is ind indicative of the kind of decks we can play in this format, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay with it. Oh my god, why is my match like like this is the second time my matchmaking has failed? Oh, we did it. Yeah, this hand's fine. Turn three, four, four into turn 4-4-4 four, 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 potentially if we can hit a red mana unfortunately we won't be able to find an is it guild gate to cast both of these both of these but and if you guys are interested in upgrading 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 your wardrobe do check out meundies.com slash franklapore you can get 15% off with the affiliate link and free shipping and free returns. And I get a kickback of that. So you're helping the stream and you're getting a discount. And you're getting some super super soft, super comfortable micromodal underwear, onesies, lounge pants, socks, whatever you need. And you guys know you need stuff like that anyway. Come on, don't lie. I'm trying to downgrade my wardrobe. Well, you know what? You can. All this can be yours. I kind of want this guy first. Yikes. Do you have any deals with cheaply made uncomfortable underwear? I don't actually have those yet. I'm tempted to play this guy into this guy. And then we have 4 drop, 5 drop. Is 4-4 four, four just better? Do we skip the, the, the counter and just play 4-4 four, four here? I don't think so. I think the value's... Let's go long term here. Plus, if we draw a red source, uh, if we draw a red guild gate, we can play that next turn, and still cast spellbreaker, and then we can still be on 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 course to to play this guy. So, why don't you sponder more crappy products for schlubs like me who hate nice things? Well, I don't know. I can put on these glasses that they gave me from LASIK. And they're called Solar Comfort. And they're really not great. They're poorly made. The lenses are very low quality. And I get to look like a bro. I can't even like I can't even wear these without laughing. You guys want to go to the beach later? You guys want to uh What does this do? 3-3 three, three, for each gate you control. Okay. Well, that's not what we're looking for, but I can still I still accept your offering. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I feel like douchey dude bro with these on. I apologize. I will put a counter on this guy because we're gonna need it. We can tap this guy down next turn forever, basically forever. Someone, no, no one clipped that. That's not what we. No one needs that in their life. Are you gonna be a four four two? Wow, they grow up so fast, don't they? <laughs> oh man, good stuff. We need a second red and a second black and or white. Hmm. I kind of want to exile this now because if they hit another gate, it's just... It's 
Bad News Bears. I will not attack because, what am I, crazy? One douchey dude bug. <laughs> Preach. Appreciate it, I think. Oh, they played another guild gate. Wow, just in time. Wow. Well, I guess we can just play all the things. We could just play this guy, but it t taps, taps one down, then we can just trade with one of them. I don't know if that's any good. This guy becomes a 6-6 six, six when you get 6 mana. Ooh, that's rough. That's a yikes for me, dog. God, if we can just draw one more land. Can we, can we, can we get a Arakdos a Rakdos guild gate, which lets us cast both of these in two turns, I guess? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So if we adapt this guy on the following turn, we have 4, 8, 12 damage in the air. I mean, we do have to hit a land, but this, this gives us 8 in the air right now. Plus we have a chump blocker for this guy. That's pretty good. I mean, if they want to pump this guy, it doesn't get trampled, so we can just go chump block, chump block, take eight. That's fine. And then they're dead on the crackback. Hmm. Fascinating. So if they pump this guy, it's 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, I think you're dead if we... Can get rid of... Oh, we just tap this guy down and attack for 12? Yeah, that seems good. Our deck is sweet. Oh, this is a first pickable uncommon for sure. <laughs> that's why it's un that's why it's an uncommon. <laughs> like definitely very very strong. Hmm. Uh this is definitely a match where we want um bring to trial. Probably better than grotesque demise here. They're going to make all their guys big. I don't know if scorch mark is great. Actually, it probably is. They got the 2/2 two -two that they can pump. I guess that's probably all we need. We have a lot of removal, so I'm not too concerned with it. What up with those bells in the background? Um, I don't know if they're bells, but I do have the... I have Magic Arena up, which has some soothing, like, bird ambient music, like, noise. So I kind of leave that up. Give me one second. I just heard something. I don't know what it was. Hold on a second, guys. We're definitely 
We're definitely keeping this hand as well. Okay, the place where I put the cat toy, he kept trying to get up there, and he knocked a bunch of stuff down. Oh, good times. So next turn we get Floaty Boy. Turn off that we can play Guildgate. Two two becomes a three three. Seems good. He's being very loud, and I don't actually understand why. Actually, tempted to just exile this. Bakashida, yeah, go ahead, knock yourself out. Because we have two removal spells for bigger creatures, so if they play a guy, we final payment. If they play another guy, we bring to trial. I just don't really feel like dealing with this 3-3 three, three for the rest of the game. Huh. It's funny. I actually have this same page open. <laughs> so I was definitely looking in the right direction. Yeah. I, I just want to call them and be like, hey, so what are my options? And they could be like nothing. You just have to buy a new pair and be like, all right, whatever. Sucks, but I get it. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, so I'm no longer blind. I don't need these prescription lenses anymore. What do? What are my options? I mean, we're going to take five from this guy anyway, right? So... Yep. Yeah. 
If you were to sell quite a few very valuable cars, where would you do so? I would probably personally, I would probably post them on Facebook and see if anyone was interested because then I can avoid fees and send them to people I actually know would get use out of them. However, that's not available to everyone, so that being the case. I cannot cast that guy, unfortunately. We need a second red or a second green. I don't think they have a way to deal with this guy in combat, so I don't really have a problem just to keep attacking with that guy. Well, that does get us there next turn. So they're at four? That seems pretty good, especially when we can pump the spy next turn. They can draw two cards, but then they only have three green to work with, so... This could be a dig, so we're going to scorch mark this thing before it gets a chance to blow our face up. And they could have like plus four, plus two or something, but like at that point you're pretty low on options as to what you do after that. Sweet. All right, cool. We got the uh, sweet deck. Hope to see it on your channel. It'll be there. So we were two. We we're like four one with this deck. Our deck is sick, guys. This is sealed. It's called Gilded Sealed, where you you pick a guild. I picked, uh, I picked personally Azorius, but everyone else voted for Gruul, so we went with Gruul. And um, every three rounds, you can add a booster pack. You can add up to two packs, so it's it's nine rounds total, three stages. And uh, we're in stage two. All in all, pretty enjoyable. Pretty enjoyable. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I mean, let's just play Spellbreaker on three, which is cool. How many packs do you start with? Six. It's sealed. So you're always going to start with six packs.
Is anybody out there? Tax, can you hear me? I like the name Tax. That's nice. You just got the name Tax. Ooh, butter my biscuits. I guess we're going to go 4-4 four, four here. I never want to deal an extra 3 damage to have a 3-3 three, three instead of a 4-4 four, four in limited. Like, in Constructed, I could see 3-3 three, three attacker being fine with haste, but I'm just like, nah, I'll just take the 4-4. Four, four. Text can no. Just the actual oh they took five instead. Seems good. Play this guy, we'll just play a forest here. Yeah, I did the Peter Parker meme earlier where I was like Oh, a 3-3, three, three, eh? Fascinating. God, I love gateway plazas. Because you're the best land around. And nothing's going to ever keep you down. I'll take three. We're at we're at twenty. We can take some three. What? That's the rudest thing you could do. Hmm. Well, none of this is super great. Like both of these are cool, but I probably just want to play this before we actually play this guy, so we'll do that. Also, our, our lands list cast pretty much anything in our deck now, I think. <laughs> it's like, you guys are killing me over here in the chat. Good times. Baby shark, do 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 do. How was getting your eyes shot with lasers? Pretty all right. I'm pretty okay so far. I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't like gum. <laughs> well, you know what, man? To each their own, you know? To each their own. Some people don't like gum, you know? So they're not going to do anything. They're just like, you know what? I'm good. I don't have to do anything on this turn. Oh, all right. I guess we'll just play this guy. Tap this gentleman down forever. If they want to kill either of these, it's fine. I'll deal with it. Yep. 
like you do. Sure. I would have probably scorch marked this one. Like, I mean, by scorch marking this, I never get the count. I never get the, the creatures and their flyers. Whereas this guy is just makes one one ground guys, and I may never get anything off of this. But for this guy to ever die, we just get two one one flyers, which is pretty nuts. Again, they did not do anything. All right. What a four here? Yeah, might as well get use out of the Titanic Troll. Troll? Brawl? Titanic Brawl? What's going on right now? <laughs> oh, by the way, my bidet broke, so I need to know under. Got any links? Yeah, you can check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore for all your undies needs. They have five cards. What's going on right now? Well, that's pretty good. That is frustratingly good. Those are two good cards. Okay. Perfect. Deals one damage to each opponent, one damage to each opponent. Sure. What did this do? Target creature gains death touch. Wow, that's very good. What a combo. Yes, put it on top. <laughs> All right, well, that's probably the best thing we can draw next turn, I guess. Yeah, definitely use that ability. Sure, why not? And they get to draw a card from this? Man. Well, they have to deal with pretty much both of these. Unless they can deal me 8 damage. And it seems like there's a lot of like incremental burn in this format, which is really weird. Okay. Put you to 1? All right. Let's see if we're dead here. Act of treason. Steal your eight eight. Sure. You gotta kill both of these. They put the card on the bottom, so I guess we'll see if we're dead. Plus four. Nope, we just win. Cool. I 
I think our deck is good. I don't really have any complaints. Uh, third pack after the... Well, second pack. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we'll finish it off with the third pack. Second pack. The thing you said. Eighth pack. I think it's the twelfth pack. Yeah, we're going to add the twelfth pack after this. Eighth pack is correct because it's, yeah, you sixth, then seventh, and eighth. Yeah, you're right. you right. I don't know if Watchful Giant, not Watchful Giant, but uh, Night Arbiter is better than Mammoth Spider. I don't think so. I feel like any hand that looks like this, I'll just snap keep it because of all the uh, all the colors, all the sweet, sweet colors. Did they only play first? Oh wow, that's gas. Um, let's just play Gilgate. Followed by Plaza. This is nice, because we can go Orzhov Guildgate into Island, into this lady. Ideally, we'll draw another three or four drop, and we can just play that. Speak of the devil! Hmm. I, think, I still think we, we, we stay on course to play you on turn three. Or four, rather, I guess. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the... Red and green. I'm just going to play a 4-4 here. It's just pretty strong. Baby shark just arrived. I missed cube draft. You and me both. You and me both, Jake. Baby shark. So if we play this, we can actually play Gate Gate Colossus here. That seems good, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's do that. Frank Lepore, do 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 do. That is that is my name. I think they just conceded. Wow, 3-0. That was insane. 
thank you guys so much for watching if you're watching on twitch uh don't leave i'm not going anywhere but i'm gonna end the youtube video here so feel free to check me out on twitch and patreon links are in the description below you can also check out frank Lepore. nope that ain't it meundies.com slash frank Lepore, and you'll get 15 percent off along with free shipping and free returns on your entire purchase of uh super comfortable micromodal underwear socks sleep pants onesies is that a thing you want onesies and uh thank you guys so much for watching slam those like and like 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 and subscribe buttons and i will see you next time thanks for watching guys